Actually, how, how old is your son? Uh, he's third grade, like uh, 
Ten years old. Oh, your son is ten years old, and you are a scientist, and uh, your son wife is uh, playing football and etc. Oh, my dear, that's the initial process. That's the process because they are ten years old. Uh, in this uh, age, uh, this age is called uh, pre-primary, and in this sphere, they like moving around the classroom instead of sitting in the classroom. They like doing uh, action, action. Uh, they are always active. Uh, that's why uh, don't, uh, don't be uh, strict to your son, just let him uh, do uh, action, action. And uh, for further information, read my book called Collaborative Learning. Thank you. Well, thank you, Igor. We have another question as <laughs> well. Please. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have some questions for Mr. Uh, Vygotsky. Uh, okay, Dr. Vygotsky, I have some problems uh, in my teaching process uh, in working young teenagers because they are very changeable and emotional and sensitive in their ages. Uh, I don't uh, want to help them and I always try to be strict with them. Uh, and last exam, they got very terrible marks. That's why my question is, how can I figure out this problem? Or can you give some advice for this Well, thank you, sure. In my opinion, uh, you are doing something wrong. You are doing something wrong. Uh, don't be too strict. Don't try to control control them. Because let your people uh, work collaboratively. So your students, can learn much more than their peers, uh, can learn much more from their peers than you. Okay. Uh, as you mentioned about, uh, you are very strict teacher and you always try to control Yes, yeah, try to control and My advice you, uh, let your people uh, to be free, uh, they can learn from each other much more than you. And uh, you can uh, just help them with scaffolding, like uh, help uh, give some materials uh, more more di uh, difficult than their uh, level. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for your answer. Now I know uh, how to figure out my problem okay. and how to answer it. Okay, the last uh, participant. First of all, good evening, Doctor V. How is how difficult to pronounce? Okay, Mister Doctor. I have two children, and um, while they are playing. They don't sit together, they sit alone, and they speak themselves. They speak themselves. I don't know what to do. I don't know. There were no maths among us. They, uh, how can I say? They are like maths. They speak themselves every time. I don't know what to do. Can you give me some advice? Are they crazy or uh, do they have some illness? I don't know. I have okay. a trouble. I'm Please. sure our professor has the answer. What is your name? Uh, what is your name? Uh, Zilona. Zilona, how difficult to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry about it because, uh, don't worry about it at all. That's a uh, natural thing. Uh, in your speech or self-talking is a uh, play important role in child development. Child development. Uh, after a while, it turns into verbal thinking. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, for further information, read my book Language and Thought. Well, okay? thank you everyone for watching our TV show and uh, to thank. Uh, we are grateful to. Uh, Mr. Vygotsky uh, and uh, for his visit and I hope that your ideas and your strategies will be helpful both for parents and teachers and to develop learning in English uh, all over the world. Thank you for coming. So, the objective of our, so we, here we uh, mix it to, uh, yes, uh, no, 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 there we mix it to,
kind of uh, we mix it two kinds of uh, activities here: role play with the uh, column. So uh, problem writing, like dear uh, B, instead of uh, writing, we uh, just play it uh, like a dear uh, B, and uh, we solve some problems. And the objective of our uh, uh, activity is uh, just to develop their English uh, vocabulary. Uh, learned before and uh, to act uh, acting by acting a uh, real uh, people. Okay, thank you. Thank you.